I am still searching for the best pet combo in Prodigy, and I need your help. I picked three combos at random from the comment section and played a game with each, and at the end I ranked them from worst to best. Starting off with pet combo number one from David A, and he's using Mystic and Mistal. The crazy thing is that this is going to be my first PvP match with them, ever, so I'm curious to see how they do. Alrighty, I just put Mystic and Mistal into my pet slots, and let's see how they do in battle. Alright, we got a match against Amanda Diamond Shadow. Um, pets are Watt, I believe that's Watt, right? And Shardik. Um, this is going to be pretty interesting, because my pets do have a little bit more health than hers. Uh, all thanks to Mistle. Mistle is carrying in the health department, and her wizard doesn't have too much health. That was a great critical hit on his wizard. Wait, that was actually huge. Because that'll only take... Okay, that was a pretty powerful hit on my wizard. Not gonna lie. But it's only gonna take Clobber from Mystic to take him out, I believe. Yeah. So wizard's gone. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Um... I've got Mistle. Since Mistle's a plant pet, I know Mistle's gonna be able to... Oh. The ice spells. Okay. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. Because I know... Mistle is going to be able to take out his Watt with Green Gust, but I'm gonna have to get lucky here. Let's hope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Green Gust. Hope it hits the Watt. Let's go! Wait, that was so lucky. Let's go. Okay, wait. That, I think that might be game. We only have to get out the Shardik, and I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a Fire Relic, so this might be GG's. Yeah, I'm wearing Fire Relic. I'm gonna go Flame Burst on his Shardik. 333. That's... I mean, he's not dead, but he's pretty much dead. What? Just for an Ice Ball on Mystic, but it's too little too late. Overload comes down, and that'll be game. I was pretty quick, not gonna lie. Our next pet combo comes from Mildy CMF, and he's using Crookfang and Nebula. Now, I'm really curious to see how Nebula does. In my opinion, Shadow is the worst element in the game, but let's see if Nebula can change my mind. Alrighty, I just put Crookfang and Nebula into my starting hand, but before I start this, I want to clarify something. So, I'm recording the second and the third battles after the PvP update, where uh, basically it uses your normal levels for PvP. So, a lot of these battles are probably going to be on different accounts that have the pets leveled up like for this one i'm on my brother's account because i don't have my crook thing leveled up i don't think i unlocked nebula either so he let me use his account to record this bit and yeah but that's all i wanted to clear up uh and we'll just hop into a battle all right we got a battle against kevin dragonshine and i just noticed my brother's on a seven game win streak right now so hopefully i don't break it with this looks like he's using blizz Herod and mystic for his pets um as we saw in the last battle mystic wasn't too good and blizz Herod is an ice pet which shouldn't be too much of, a, of an advantage for him so i'm not concerned about this battle oh right i forgot blizz Herod does have good speed so we're gonna have to watch out for that but he did fumble his first attack which is really huge um we can quickly try and get out his wizard as soon as possible all right, he got the question right. He's using a spell right now. And he went for, oh, an astral spell on my Nebula. That wasn't too good. And you know, let's take a look at Nebula's spells to see how she does. So Twilight is her like mythical epic special. That looks pretty good. Dim is all right. It's a mediocre um, area spell. Umbra looks all right. Looks pretty good. And murkiness is. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh my goodness. Well, Nebula just fulfills the stereotype. It's like all shadow pets are Are you bad. sure about that? Oh, that was a huge critical, though. That was a huge critical, though. Okay, I'll give her a few points for that. I'll give her a few points for that. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure how Crookfang is going to do. Oh, he goes for a hit on my wizard. I'm surprised he didn't try and finish off my... Uh, a nebula, but I'll take that. Uh, I haven't used Crookfang too much, but I know I've played against him a few times. I know he's a pretty good pet, 
So I'll just go for Clamp on his wizard. And that takes it out. Let's go. Okay. All right. We're in a great position right here. I mean, we got the question right, but he, again, is going to get that first attack because of Blizz Herod. All right. Oh, he goes for it. He has st Storm Spells too? Wait. Okay, this went from a good matchup to a really bad one. But I think Leaf Vortex. All right. That was perfect. All right. Never mind. It went from a good matchup to a bad matchup to a perfect matchup. And I think Twilight should do enough to take out Blizz Herod. And that's game! That's game! Our next combo comes from user NH8PX3XF7V. Wow, that was a mouthful. And he's using Glorisius and um, also Glorisius. I've used Glorisius before, and it's a pretty powerful pet. So having two on my team is going to be a deadly combo. Alrighty, I just added Glorisius into my pet slots. And I'm back on my main account because I had a high level slate that I was able to evolve into Glorisius. But anyway, let's just hop into another battle. All right, we got a match against Eric Springmask. Looks like he's using the Puppet Master set and I believe that's the Dual Blade. I forget its name. I know it does have an Astral spell, which is gonna be hard against my Glorisiuses who are uh, both physical. All right, we got the question right, but I think, Apparently he has the first attack. Wow! His tiny gear has a first attack, even though it's like a very low level. It went for a multiple on my wizard, but that did that did dec a decent amount of damage. So we're gonna have to watch out for um the the tiny gear. But I'll just go for clobber on his wizard. 494. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down! Oh, slow down! Whoa! Big tank! 495? Dang, wait, that's actually, that's actually really big. So was that. That was also very big. But I believe Skewer. See if Skewer might not take it out. Yeah, 398. Leaves it on one health. Oh my goodness. Well, that was unfortunate. I'll just go for Peck on his wizard because I want to preserve my skewer for like his uh what's it called for his that fire pet I forget its name but hopefully I don't like miss like everything when I do okay good all right at least the wizard's out that's all I needed uh tiny gear is making me a little bit angry because of his first attack but we should be able to do like a good amount of damage to it because of star bit I can probably finish it off with one of um my Glorithia fish spell. Oh, the tiny guy missed. Mm. All right, 395. And it did get the question right. Jesus. Oh, that was a good area spell on my entire team. All right, so now that we took out the Tiny Gear, we have the first attack. Clobber should be more than enough to take out Inferno, and that'll be game. And now it's time to rank them. At number three, I've got David A's Mystic Mystic combo. They're both just mediocre pets, and it's hard to justify using them when there's so many better options. At number two, I put Mildy CMF's Crookfang Nebula combo. Crookfang hard carries this combo with its versatility, and even though Nebula has very little power, you can still kinda justify using her just because she does a little bit extra damage towards the five main elemental pets. And at number one is the double Glorisius combo. Glorisius is already one of the most powerful pets in the game, so having two of them is definitely gonna make for an amazing pet combo. But that's gonna be the video, be sure to like and subscribe and comment your pet combo down below and it might just get featured in the next episode. And with that, I'll see you next time.